folks, um, it is super important to take stock every now and then, and it's very, 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 very crucial. Uh, it's very important to just reboot, see where you are, reassess where your plans are, and then plan again. And I'm a big, big, big fan of that. Those of you who may have started your preparation in December or Jan or Feb, um, April is a good time to just say, hey, I'm going to see where I stand. And so it works wonders for me because my old plans generally fade because I have um, I have gone on paths where my old plans are now impossible. And I would say I want to get fit in three months and one and a half months I would have done nothing. So I'm continuously behind and then I'm guilt tripping myself, getting into a negative funk and then I end up doing nothing. And so and sometimes I'll have 8, 10, 12 windows open in Chrome. And I, I just, just I'll, I'll, just, I'll not know what I'm doing in office and I'm working. So I'll close everything and then start from zero. And a, 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 a reboot mentally really helps me. And just now I realized that if I say 10, 12 windows open, that's like an amazingly large number for me. But I realized you guys are all um, one generation lower. I see all the guys in my office, they have like a million windows open. I can't even, you can't even see what window is what because it is just, just see the icon there. And so probably not relevant for you, but 10, 12 windows and my brain starts getting frazzled. Uh, but when, I, when, I, when I'm having stuff open at many places and I'm not following up on them, uh, I fall into a thing where uh, where I'm feeling guilty, where I'm not seeing it through, but I can see that I'm not seeing it through. Then I, stay, then I, need, to, I need to reset. I'll close everything down and then say, look, let me simplify and say, this, this, this is what I'll do. And then I'll, I'll carry on with that. Right? So how do you take stock of where you stand? There's one wonderful, foolproof, ridiculously brilliant first principles based method. Take a mock and take maybe one of the previous year slots 24, 23, 22, 21, 20 are all three, two art exams. There are 15 slots available. I know all of us want to save up these as real mocks for later on. But you have 15 of them, you can use one of them now. Take one slot, take 2021 20, slot one like that. Take it as an exam. Get a hang of what this is about. Forget your scores, marks, percentiles. Get a 10,000 feet view of what this is. Where are you headed? Take stock not just of how much you have prepared, how much you remind, but what this exam is about. And so those of you who have not taken CAT before or you have not taken a single mock, take one. There is nothing else that can reset your brain like this. And so what else can you do? Look at your schedule, see what you have met with, what targets you had set for yourself, what you have achieved, what you have not achieved. And then don't do a fudge. Every now and then you should say, look, clean slate, I am drawing a whole new schedule starting now. I keep in mind that I had 10 things to do in Jan, Feb, March and I finished 7 of them. I will remove them but bring these 3 back into the fold from April onwards and then put up a schedule for this. And so sometimes the overhang of things not done, not completed in the past 3 months uh, makes us feel bad. You should feel really happy and nice that you did complete 7 things. It's very important, at least for some of us, it's super important uh, to feel good about what we do in order to take the next step and, and go further. Super crucial for me and super crucial for me. And so I, if, I, if I feel miserable, then I can't pick myself up and do the next thing. So I'll kid myself into saying, so I planned 10 things, I did only 6. 6 I did, right? Good. 4 remaining, I'll get it done in the next 10 days. So I'm 10 days behind schedule. I've not just completed 60%. So I'll rewire that, reframe that, and the next 10 days I'll attack. I'll probably do only 2 and a half, 3. But that's 3 that I would have otherwise not done if I had not work myself up into, 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 into a good mood. And so, take stock of what you had in mind and what you have completed so far. Push it aside. R complete that chapter. Take what is remaining, put in and carve a whole new schedule. In this schedule, place down markers for taking stock. All the time, throughout. Definitely, definitely take a mock. Beyond all this, topic-wise what you have done, Take some tests on those. Suppose you have done Venn diagram in, in logical reasoning. Suppose you have done para jumble in verbal. Suppose you have done ratios and mixtures. Take topic wise tests in each of these. To just tell yourself, look, I got this. Or tell yourself, look, I got this, but I still have some more work to do. Be very absolutely brutal and honest with yourself. But saying, look, I'm kind of there, but I'm not there, it's not a bad thing. And so sometimes being afraid of where you stand and not taking stock at all that can land you in bigger and bigger trouble. We often do that when we are slightly not sure about where we are headed. 
we keep pushing away this the reality check don't do that what you have completed see where you stand overall mock take one stand take stock of what you have done what you have not done and replan every time uh, there is an opportunity for a for a reboot or a need for a reboot force yourself to do that we very often as human beings as individuals who are, who are ambitious but flawed we tend to to defer the stock taking part we, because we, we don't want to know what it has in store i know that if i take a test on ratios it will tell me that i have not really prepared that topic well that's all right all right embrace that it's a theek hai i've done somewhat okay but not fully well so that let me tell you one thing you start in april afresh you have a decent schedule you can prepare for this exam wonderfully well comprehensively from first principles with lots of time devoted to speed building and with bandwidth to do 30 mocks and crack this exam out of shape there is enough time if you start on april 14th to prepare for this exam and whack it out of the park so whatever you have done so far is just a scene setting thing the past is prologue send it out and then say look here i start that is also fun okay it is a, at any point of time where things are not going well taking stock and saying hey this is where i stand being very honest to yourself being very realistic speaking truth that's fine i just realized that i've been speaking about taking stock as if uh, it's not working some of you might have done wonderfully well the last three months done most of the things that you set out to do then you take a mark uh, then you see where you stand you consolidate you revise and then say look three months gone next six months here i come i'm going to be on fire throughout i'm not going to rest on my laurels and become complacent and and slip into sluggish habits i've had a good jan feb march i'm going to have a kick ass april may june and then really amp it from there on and so those of you who have done well consolidate take stock don't get complacent and attack those of you who might have missed out on a few things completely all right completely natural most people do not achieve all the objectives they set their heart to Uh, it does not mean you shouldn't be ambitious and set new goals for yourself it does not mean you have to be super cruel and harsh on yourself and guilt trip yourself to death it just means with all the variables that we have and the uncertainties we have and the flaws we have and the vulnerabilities we have we human beings aspirants students individuals employers employees slip every now and then that's all right how we pick ourselves up be happy nice and attack for the next round that's more important once again i must tell you that most of these i'm trying to tell you guys and 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 hopefully i'm not coming out as too preachy i'm thinking about this for myself i'm super uh, vulnerable to my own delusions super capable of setting targets and um, and slipping every now and then um, i'm working on them uh, i'm 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 working on picking myself up not guilt tripping and attacking the next cycle the the having those challenges and uncertainties and then kind of things that throw a spanner into the work that's inevitable i think we will be better versions of ourselves we put fight to to put fight one more time right so with that i'm going to sign off happy new year of all kinds to to all of you who are preparing uh, tamil new year and the, the indian cycle is this tamil new year and bihu and vishu and baisakhi and uh, pola baisakh in west bengal and all of that right so happy new year to all of you celebrating any or many versions of this right? best wishes okay